In some ways, it kind of looks like a giant propane tank, right? I think this is like two tons. It's not the kind of thing that they're making all over the world. Michigan engineering researchers are developing a method for taking carbon and sequestering it within cement products for infrastructure developments. Cement manufacture accounts for about 8% of global CO2 emissions. If we can find a way to lower the carbon footprint of cement materials, you can really make some big advancements. Their process starts by utilizing an already advanced concrete formula called bendable concrete, developed by Professor Victor Lee. The material technical name is ECC, which stands for Engineered Cementitious Composites. This concrete material actually has the ability to distribute internal damage 300 to 500 times that can be sustained by normal concrete before it fails. You demold it and then you're putting it in the chamber and exposing it to a high pressure CO2 environment for 24 hours. You have water in the pores and so the CO2 will dissolve into that pore water and react with the calcium hydroxide that's available and form calcium carbonate. Once cured, up to 30% of the cement's mass will be sequestered carbon. After initial testing, the team has demonstrated that the material's strength and durability has actually improved. We see that the crack width has been smaller. Those steel ray bars to control the cracks uh, is not needed in the bendable concrete anymore. Their next step is measuring the real-world performance of the product, starting with a sidewalk at Ann Arbor's Leslie Nature and Science Center. The demonstration will help the team monitor how the concrete responds to changing environmental conditions throughout the year.